Mr. Speaker, uh, Canadians need to know, and those Canadians that are dependent on the forestry industry need to know that when this government is sitting across the table from our closest friend and ally, that they are fighting for Canadians. They're standing up for Canadian jobs. And Mr. Speaker, I'm not quite sure that we've seen it at this point. We've had the honourable member stand in the House, we've had our Minister of Trade stand in the House that the, and say that this new relationship is unprecedented with uh, the president, uh, the outgoing president this uh, outgoing administration that is going to uh, yield the same uh, announcement that he said that he referenced in June. He also, uh, the, both members of President of the United States as well as the Prime Minister, both said that we'd have something in 100 days. Mr. Speaker, we are heading down a long and protracted uh, period of litigation, which means probably, likely, if history dictates that we are going to see mill closures, job losses in my riding, job losses in rural Canadi or Canadian communities right across the country. Mr. Speaker, I implore the honourable colleague, through you, provide an update, provide Canadians on what you are doing and can we see a deal imminent? The Honourable Parliament Secretary. Mr. Speaker, Despite all the rhetoric from the Honourable Member, uh, he full well knows that we are working exceedingly hard on this file, and the only reason why we have not yet reached an agreement with our American friends is because we have not reached an agreement that will respect the needs of the Canadian industry from coast to coast to coast. It's that simple. We are going to ensure a stable access uh, to the American market, a fair and equitable access to the American market, uh, and in order to do so, we have to reach an agreement that meets the needs of every region of this country. And we intend to do that, Mr. Speaker. Uh, we are working very hard at it with numerous contacts, numerous negotiations all the way through. But the agreement has to be mutually acceptable. And until we find a mutually acceptable agreement, Mr. Speaker, we are going to find, uh, we are going to keep all strat strategic options open in order to reach an agreement. Thank you.